Hello and welcome back to another Mountain Blade Warband video. As usual, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, like, and put any comments you want down below, any questions, any opinions, anything you think I've missed out. And as usual, a massive thank you to all those who have uh, subscribed recently and those who have been still watching all the videos, enjoying the content. I hope that you found everything really useful. Uh, you're doing a great job of helping me try and grow this channel and try and build a bit of more of a community. Uh, so thank you very much for everyone's support recently. Like I say, if you are new to this channel and you do like Mountain Blade Warband or any other kind of the games that you see on the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and like I say, type in a comment down below in the comment section. It could be anything. If you've got an opinion, you've got a question, anything at all, I do read them, I do look at them and I will respond to them. Also, just a side note, because there have been quite a few um, questions or uh, people asking for certain videos to be made, I have just done a big batch of recording, so uh, your content may be coming up soon, may not be coming up just right now. Like I say, I've done about four different, four or five different episodes worth of kind of content I just want to keep pushing out, and I'm going to obviously try and get your kind of content that you've been asking for out at the same time. And every now and then I'm going to try and get in a, a live stream with the Banner Lord. I know I've said this already. I've just had another week where I've not actually had a day off. I, it's been hectic. Uh, so I've just been trying to find a time when I can set up a stream as well. Because it'll be the first time I do a stream from this computer. So do bear with me folks. And like I say, I will be trying to do a Let's Play Banner Lord series uh, on a live stream very soon. And I will be trying to pump out as much content as possible between now and now. Christmas and New Year. Now on to this episode's content. So this episode is how to improve relations with a Lord. Uh, so for me, this is just my opinion on what I would do, my kind of the kind of tactics I use. So the main way to improve relations is by hosting a feast. So this is your biggest biggest way when you become a Lord of a Kingdom. Uh, to do this, you must own a castle and you must really become married as it will be your wife who will actually be helping to create the feast. She will be the one who insists that you're bringing the best uh, food and a good varied amount of food and drink and all the kind of other accessories that go with it, like spices and everything like that. So she will be the one who will kind of be hosting the event with you. She will be the one that's technically setting up the feast. Uh, but when you're actually at the feast and you're hosting the feast, uh, this is the point where you get to invite, obviously, all the lords from your kingdom uh, and you get to chat to them, you get to chat to these lords and they will thank you for obviously hosting the feast, inviting them and this will actually do massive boost to your relation and it's something you can kind of host regularly. The only downside to it is, is it does cost a little bit of money to obviously keep on uh, updating the stocks, up, you know, upgrading the stocks, so obviously buying your spices and everything like that or the good food because this does get wiped out in the inventory in the castle. Uh, so it is quite costly, but this is a great way to actually boost your relationship with all the lords in your kingdom and the king and everything like that. So this is the best way, in my opinion, to do this. This is the main point here. There are several other good good ways to do it, but trying to host the event, uh, hosting a feast, is the best way, in my opinion. So... Another good way to boost your relation or at least improve your relation or regain relation if you've had a negative relation is by speaking with a specific Lord's family members. Uh, so the wife, the brother, cousin, whatever it is. Uh, they, If you talk to them and you pick the right uh, chat line, uh, they will suggest by doing a quest like in this video right now, they will suggest um, a sort of gift. So they will sort you out with a quest to gather certain items, bring them items back to them. They'll have it made and then they'll pass it on as a kind of obviously a tribute or a gift to try and bridge the gap between you and the Lord that you've got a negative effect with. Uh, this is a nice little booster when you eventually do the quest. Yes, they can be long winded and can be kind of expensive, but by finishing it, just putting the effort in, uh, you boost relationship with the Lord who set it up. You boost relationship with the Lord who you're actually trying to, you know, build a new relationship with. This is another little side event uh, that is a good way. This, but obviously, like I say, the feast, holding the feast is the best way. 
outside of peacetime, uh, two other really good ways of boosting relations with any lords that you have in your realm is when you are at war and you want to gain relations with obviously the king or the marshal of the kingdom uh, one of the best things is to capture capture lords uh, from the warring kingdom you're at war with hold them hold them ransom with you keep them hold of you then go find the king or the marshal and pretty much ask them for a quest sometimes obviously you've got to wade out the other weird quests but a majority of times it will come up with a quest to ask you to capture a lord and bring them to you uh, to them really uh, so obviously if you've already captured the quest perfect just accept the quest and then talk to them again straight away uh, when you hand them over uh, the lot you know, the marshal or the king will actually give you some money and then you gain really good relations with them because obviously you've done a decent sized quest they this is you know meant to be a challenging quest because if you go to a battle you don't always you're not always guaranteed of capturing said lord a lot of times they can escape or you know or they can run away whilst you you're holding them so this is why this gives you a big boost when you do this quest Lastly, the best way I have found that you can gain better relations with a lord in wartime is when you either aid a battle where they are, you know, they've been engaged by a lord from another kingdom, they're either outgunned or want support, you go in there and help them, you win, obviously you win the battle, uh, and at the end of the battle they, they thank you for coming to their aid. Uh, even better than that though, is if you attack a lord from another kingdom, who has got one of your captured uh, lords in their party. Once you've be obviously beaten them again in that battle, taken that lord back, uh, obviously at the end of the battle, and release you're technically releasing them from captivity, the boost there is amazing. It is on par with obviously anything else in the game because you've helped them get freed from captivity. This is among the best ways to capture a lord. Uh, and any lord so this is why this is important because obviously having good relations in this game is the biggest way that you can get thieves village you know thieves towns castles all that type of thing because it's a popular popularity vote in the end yes the king will always make his own decision he may not go with a big majority of people but majority of the time if you have a lot of lords who are friends with you, who think you rightfully deserve that castle, town, or village, they will vote for you because they are best mates with you. So that's why this is important. Now I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy the rest of this video. It's a bit more of a chill out video. We join a tournament, we continue doing the quest uh, and finish it off. And then we do an extra quest for the lord himself, where we actually uh, take his wife to one of his other holdings so we actually escort her to one of the big towns as uh, he fears a lot of bandits are on the road and he has no one to send so he actually values you and wants you to escort her it's another little side quest but it's another one to gain relations both with his wife and him himself
Now, if you have made it to the end, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found the information very useful and that you've enjoyed the video. Like I say, please make sure if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Put your opinion down in the comment section below. Ask any questions you want, any anything you want in the in the section below. I will read it. I will respond. Uh, make sure to like the video. And most importantly, have a good Christmas and a happy new year. And I hope that you've enjoyed the content today. Thank you very much for watching.